The mother of the six-year-old boy who shot Zwerner will be sentenced in October. We told you yesterday Deja Taylor pleaded guilty to federal gun and marijuana charges. Under federal law, it's illegal for people to own a gun if they use marijuana, even if the drug is legal in their state like Virginia. New at 6, Eugene Daniels spoke with a legal expert about this gray area. It's legal to smoke pot in Virginia, and it's legal to own a gun, but under federal law, Virginians can't do both. Legal analyst Ed Booth says it's important to know when trying to purchase a firearm. While Virginia has chosen to, under certain circumstances, legalize marijuana, um, it is not legal um, from a federal perspective. The Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives, a federal agency also known as ATF, requires potential gun buyers to fill out a firearms transaction form. Deja Taylor, the mother of a six-year-old boy who police say shot his teacher at Rich Neck Elementary, pleaded guilty in federal court this week. She admitted to making a false claim on the form when she bought a handgun last year. Well, Section G of that form asks, are you an unlawful user of or addicted to marijuana? According to court records, investigators say Taylor lied when she answered no, even though she used marijuana. If you lie on the form, it, it's a, a federal offense and it's a felony. But what if recreational use is legal at the state level or what about medicinal purposes? The form also shares a warning that the use or possession of marijuana remains unlawful under federal law, regardless of whether it's been legalized or decriminalized for medicinal or recreational use in your state. Two weeks ago, the ATF put out an advisory after Minnesota eased its marijuana laws. The federal agency doubled down, saying cannabis users are still prohibited from buying or owning guns and referenced guidance in 2011, advising marijuana users tell the truth when asked on the form. You tell the truth. Uh, and, and you might not be able to buy a firearm or you lie and you commit a federal felony. It's a, you know, it's, it's a pretty straightforward. We can certainly debate uh, the questions of sovereignty and, you know, whether something uh, that's illegal and uh, according to federal law and legal under Virginia law should be uh, the subject of that question. But the reality is it is a, a question that the federal government can ask. Uh, and there are severe consequences for giving anything other than a truthful answer. Still, Booth says honesty remains the best policy. The bottom line answer is when you're filling out this form, you've got to tell the truth or, or else you're in violation of federal law. In Norfolk, Eugene Daniel, 13 News Now.